Hey y'all, so this week's Dream Snap is a superhero um, theme. I have come up with several outfits that might help inspire you for your Dream Snaps if you are having issues. And a lot of people are like, I don't know how to do something different, so here are some ideas. The first idea is Iron Man, and what you'll do is you'll go to All, and then click Red, and kind of go through and see what red items you have. Like, I use this suit to kind of look like the Iron Man suit, and then I added some like sunglasses or whatever, you know, Tony Stark is super cool. I added some red socks and things like that to help get the item count that you need. And then you want to go to hairstyle and choose a short hairstyle. And then I chose um, like a lighter brown and then a darker brown for his hair color um, to give it the most uh, Iron Man look. You could also change your avatar to like to the male instead of leaving it a female if you're female. Um, but this is just to give you like a quick example of what Iron Man could look like. And then I just put like a spaceship background for a few of these. But you could use any background that you wanted to. Our next one is Gamora to go with the spaceship theme and Marvel theme. So I went to all and did black and purple to f see what items I had that would kind of match her um, suit. Because you know she wears a jacket and the tight pants and the boots. So I also added some gloves, things like that. Glasses, like those can help get the item count. Um, I also, I did this jacket, then I went into all and did red because like her tank that she wears is like a red color and once you have the outfit you can go and change her skin tone when you go to body and then you'll go to color and you would change her to green. You can do the bright green or the darker green, whichever one. Then you'll want to go and change your hairstyle. There was this hairstyle, and you would want like black and then red highlights. Um, you could also use that one, but I preferred this one because it gave a little bit more body to the hair to look like her. And so there you have it. There is Gamora, and you could also add mannequins in the background that look like other um, Guardians of the Galaxy um, players. You could probably do Drax and things like that, Star-Lord. Um, next is Mystique. I haven't seen anybody do Mystique yet, so what I did is I went in and found blue things because, you know, Mystique was very, um, just wore her skin all the time, so I found something that showed a lot of skin and that met the item count. So once you find these clothing items, you will then go and change her eye color because her eyes are very, very yellow. So I did a lighter yellow and then a little bit of a darker yellow so that way they would kind of pop. And then you want to go in and change her skin tone into a blue, either the light blue or the darker blue. I chose the darker blue to make the yellow eyes stand out. You'll then want to go and do her hair, and she has very, very red hair, and you can choose whichever hairstyle you like. I chose this one because in the movie with um, Jennifer Lawrence, her hair is very slick down. I believe in all the movies, her hair is very slick down. So there you have Mystique. All right. So, I, re I really like Mystique's look. Um, she's not the one that I used, but next is Storm, sticking with the X-Men theme. And you would want to go to all and then find white, because I know in one of the movies, Holly Berry wore um, a lot of white. I also added this coat right here if you have it. You could also do a white cardigan, because she does have, like, in one of the movies, a very flowy type um, outfit. You will then change her skin tone to brown because she is African American. Um, then you will want to go and change her hair color and I chose this style so that way it shows like some highlights and lowlights to give that whole storm effect in her look. Then I went and changed her eye color to because you know when she uses her powers her eyes turn like very white so I used gray and white so that way it kind of popped. I really liked how storm turned out um, she's one of my favorites. See, and there is Storm, and you could use whatever backgrounds you want to. Um, I will show an area that I would choose here in a minute on the background, because I would love, I would do it with like a very, like a storm and the lightning in the background. Next, I did Catwoman, sticking with Holly Berry. Um, I love her Catwoman character. She's my probably favorite Catwoman. And so, I left the skin tone the same, and then I went in and found, um, did all and then did black um, because her suit is black and it is um, very kind of skin tight fitting then I went in and changed the eye color to a green to make her eyes pop um, 
You also will add the mask if you have the mask. If you don't have the mask, I think you could do the face paint. And then, of course, there are cat ears that come in Scrooge's shop, and I added the cat ears. And then I went and changed her hairstyle into a shorter hairstyle and made it a light brown and dark brown. Um, so that way the cat ears really popped in the picture. I also took off the coat. Um, and here we have it. We have Catwoman. I love it. I think it's super cute. You could probably do like a jewelry background um, where she's in the jewelry store. Alright, next is Rogue. I have not really seen anybody do Rogue. And you can kind of use the same outfit and just go into coats and add the blazer. Because Rogue does wear like an over shirt. And then I changed the skin tone to white because white is Caucasian. Took the mask off. Um, also added gloves because as you know, Rogue can't touch anything. And then I picked a hairstyle that I thought would look good. And then you would want like the brown with the very white um, highlights in the front. Um, but I went and changed it to this because I liked how it was like the very thin streak at the front, like a skunk stripe, to make it look more like Rogue. And there you have it. There is Rogue, and you could do whatever background you wanted to there. Next, we do Black Widow, and it is pretty much the same outfit. Um, the turtleneck with the black pants and boots or heels. Um, I kept the backpack in there. Because um, it'll help add to your count. And I kept the black gloves on because that also adds to your count. I left her eyes green, but you can change them to blue. Next is the hairstyle. And I chose the short wavy hairstyle because I felt like it looked um, the most like Natasha to me. And then you will also want to go and change the colors because her hair, like in the cartoon version, is very, very red. So we changed it to two different tones of red. Or you can do it how, like... I like those two tones because you can't tell a difference, but it makes it pop just a little bit. And then there you have Black Widow. She's also one of my favorites. And then, of course, you can also go in and do the Incredibles costume if you have that. Um, you could even do the little iron, the Dreamlight suit. But here are some examples of backgrounds that you can use if you need help with backgrounds. Now, you're doing even just an outfit background. You want it to make sure that it, it fills in. You don't want a lot of empty space in your dream snap. So, for one, like in your plaza, if you have the buildings, you can create like a, a city scene for, you know, the X-Men, um, for and the Incredibles. Also, if you have like a bench area with greenery behind you, you could use that. You could always use things already in your valley for your background. For a one, one background that would be good would be like the waterfall in the Sunlit Plateau. And then you wouldn't have to really do anything depending on who your superhero is. Um, I have this area uh, and it would always be a great background. It's just, you know, the, the vine arches with some you know, palm trees and some shrubbery and things like that around it. You could always change, you know, what bushes you use. And then this area I thought would be great for like Rogue or Storm. That very far corner in the Forgotten Lands with a storm with lightning behind it would make a great dream snap for those two characters. Also, if you have any area like this, you could always do things like Poison Ivy. Um, just any kind of background that fills in the space like you could do um the gazebo with like vine walls or shrubbery around it with some flowers and stuff just to cover it up you want your 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 whole picture to be filled with you know scenery in the background um you could use any of the waterfalls you could probably go into some of the realms and take the picture as well to get you a good background the forgotten land i think would also be a great area to do um like storm or even Rogue, any of those, because the, especially if you have the the frozen willows, it makes everything pop. So, I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped. Let me know in the comments if you liked any of it, if you want to see any future videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.